Hi, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners. You know what? You're looking at the markets, and here it is, Halloween. Hope you're all going to have a great Halloween. Get a lot of candy. Eat a lot of candy. Candy's good for you. Candy's got sugar in it. Sugar's roughage, okay? It's granular. I can, uh, beer, beer is great for you. Beer's just like Raisin Bran. Contains hops, malt, and barley. Three grains. It's all great, you know? I can rationalize myself through anything. So what are we doing right here? Well, let's cut to the chase, folks. You can get spooked by what's happening right now. And you can say, oh, Pat, that's a bad pun. Well, you got to have a little fun too, okay? So here we are. We're looking at SSO and QLD back in March of this year. And it's like, oh my God, this was the end of the world. I'm going to give you a training coaching lesson that will help you. This is the stuff we do at Mission Winners, and it helps people make money. It helps people be in control of the decision-making process. Knowledge is power. So we'll get you some. So here we go. Frame it up. Here's SSO. What's it doing right here, folks? Well, it's dropping like a dang rock, and so is QLD. But take a look at this date. This is April, excuse me, March 23rd. March 23rd. It's apples to apples the same day. Something I love to do when I was an IBD Medo co leader for 12 years, I love teaching it this way. Why? Because you understand and you own the concept. If you own a concept, you can transfer it to other situations. That's power, folks. That's power. So, on this day, a couple of things. What did, on this day, what did SSO do? closed down on the day. On this day, what did QLD do? It closed up on the day. Not by much, but it closed up. A slight telltale sign. Another telltale sign for you. Which of these is closer to the 200 day, the purple line? QLD or SSO? Which one's closer? QLD is another telltale sign. Another telltale sign. Which one is closer to the ADMA? QLD? or SSO. That's how we connect the dots. That's, and, and folks, I'm not gonna, I'm not lying to you. I'll tell you the truth, I can document this. We went in there and we were talking about this with VIP members saying, hey, get ready because we're gonna get involved with NASDAQ stocks. So do this, advance it one day. Here we go, look at that, lift off. Let's do it on QLD. Okay, I'm gonna ask you again. Which of these, and it's the same day, folks, April 20, excuse me, March 24th, March 24th. Which one closed above the 8 EMA? Which one? This one did. You get the gold star. That's right. You know what we did? We bought QLD there. Okay? Advance it one day. Touches the 8, but closes at the midpoint. Reverses down. But I ask you this, which one is above the 8 EMA? Which one? This one is. Which one's closer to the 200 day? This one is. Okay? Which one's closer to the 21 EMA, the blue line? This one is, QLD. Advance at one day. Goes up, goes up. Which one's closer to the 21, folks? QLD. You see where I'm going with this? Advance it a day. Down. Down. Both of them on the ADMA, but frame it up. Bigger picture. Which one is closer to the 200 day? Which one's closer to the 21? Advance it one day. Oh, take it a step further. Both of them came down to the ADMA. Tell me about the volume on SSO and then tell me about the volume on QLD. QLD was less. See? That's connecting the dots. Advance it one day. Lifts up. Advance it a day. Lifts up. Right there. Which one's closer to the 21? This is. Advance it. Down. Down. Which one touched the 21 EMA? This one did. So far, QLD is still exhibiting strength. And that was why we bought it, folks. All right? Watch this. Down. Down. Both of them lost the ADMA. You can say, oh, they're both really bad. Folks, you got to dig deep. Check it out. Which one fell on increasing volume on this day? Which one fell on less volume on this day? QLD. They both have a higher low. 
But which high or low is stronger? This one is. It's closer. This touched the 21. It's closer to the 200 than this one. Advance it. Higher low, higher low. Pick up in volume on both, both of them at the eight, okay? But we do know from our discussion, this is stronger. Here, here. Which one closed down on this day on a pickup in volume? Folks, and this isn't rocket science, and this isn't tearing it apart. It's just looking at the chart. You got a higher low on both of them. Which higher low is stronger? This one is because it's closer to the 200 day. That's what we're looking for. You know what we're looking for here too? Max list stocks. Up, up, both of them through the 21. I'll ask again, which one went up on a pickup in volume? This one. Do you see how you connect the dots? That's power. You know, it's Halloween and we can get spooked by the action or we can sit there and say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to just wallow in it. I'm going to freaking try to figure some stuff out. And that's what we do in Mission Winners. Figure this out. Make it happen. This is fun too, by the way. Okay. Now it's not as fun as candy bars. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Candy bars are good for you, but that's a different story. Gaps up, reverses down. Gaps up, reverses down. But which one's closer to the 200 day? Which one's closer to the 200 day? This is. By the way, you see that volume on this bar? That was heavy selling volume. It was a volume pickup, but much less volume here than here. Quiet, inside bar, inside bar. Less volume, less volume. But again, look at how close this is to the purple line, the 200 versus this one. The, the freaking purple line is falling pretty hard on this. Let's advance. Up, up, okay? Still closer, still stronger, better, higher, low. Advance. Down a bit. <laughs> Is that cute? Down, up. This close near the highs. This one, the high on this bar is 5064. This bar took out the previous bar. This one fell below the lows. Advance. Gaps up. Okay, proof in the pudding. Which one is now above the 200 day? QLD. Advance. Down, down, hovering the 200, sideways, sideways, starting to pick up. Look at the volume pickup. Picking up, picking up more. Picking up, down, down a bit. Down, down, okay? You see this right here? Close to the 21 EMA, but the 21's caught up to it. This is still way far away from it. But again, bigger picture. This pushed above the 200 day and this didn't. All of this caused us to be involved in big NASDAQ stocks, and it was the start of good move, good run. I know this is a longer video, but I just have to go through bar by bar. Again, at the IBD meetup, this is what we did. We go through this. We showed people what to look for, price and volume, open, high, low, close. I'm telling you what, you do that, and you are ready to control control your portfolio, control your decisions, and that's power. Just framing it up gets the moving averages. So, hocus pocus, you know, we can be spooked or we can analyze it, be better than the others, and take action. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.